Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. My name is David. I'm a skincare enthusiast and I like anything and everything about skincare. And if you do as well, feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell button so you'll be notified when I upload. And feel free to also give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like, you can also follow me over on Instagram and show me some love on there as well. All right, so today I'm gonna be reviewing the Inkylist Salicylic Acid Cleanser. This is five fluid ounce or 150 milliliters that retails for $9.99 USD. And you can find this at inkylist.com, their official website, or also on sephora.com or also in the stores. This product is a very gentle exfoliating cleanser that's gonna help to reduce blemishes poor congestion and blackheads. So for this product, you do want to apply it onto damp skin. So I just dampened my hands a little bit. And this is what the product looks like. It's a liquid cleanser. And you want to massage it into the skin in circular motions. And it doesn't really set up. It creates a very light foam or lather to it. It feels nice and soft on the skin. It's not harsh or abrasive by any means. It's a very gentle exfoliating cleanser. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, when you're using this product, you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. Now, just to go through the ingredient list, there's 2% salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a BHA, and compared to AHA, BHA is oil soluble. So Oil mixes well with oil. Now this is product is gonna go down deep into the pores to really help to dislodge and really flush out all that, you know, build up, dirt, oil, all that gunk. So it's gonna do a good job of cleaning out pores and also helping to prevent blemishes and blackheads as well. There's also zinc and zinc has anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation is one of the leading or contributing factors that lead to blemishes or acne. So this can really help to reduce that and also helps to regulate sebum production. So if you have very oily skin or, you know, you get very oily and shiny, especially during during the day um, on your T-zone area, it can really help to reduce that shine. Also, there's allantoin, which is really great for reducing and calming down irritated skin and also can help to really stimulate um, healthy skin growth. There's also tocopherol or vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that helps to prevent free radical damage, which breaks um, collagen, elasticity and firmness in the skin. So this can really help to prevent that. And also there's glycerin, which is an oldie, but a goodie. It's a humectant, so it's gonna help to hydrate the skin. So yeah, there's a lot of great ingredients in here. It's a very effective, but yet gentle exfoliating cleanser. You can use this up to twice a day. So if you like, you can use it in the morning and also in the evening. For me personally, I like to use this product about three to four times a week. I don't use it every day. It really depends on you know the products I've been using the day before, how my skin condition is that day, and what I'm using as well. But yeah, if you like, you can also use this up to twice a day. For me, I really like to use this especially in the evening. I'll get in the shower, I'll do my oil or balm cleanser to really remove all that you know, oil, dirt, makeup, and sunscreen throughout the day. And then I'll wash my hair with a shampoo, and then I'll leave on a conditioner on my hair for a couple minutes, and then I'll massage this product on my face. Make sure you do apply this on damp skin, and you wanna apply a little bit of the product on your hand, maybe like a dime size, you really don't need too much. Massage, create a nice low foam or lather and massage it in your face. Also, if you have a lot of congestion or like blemishes, maybe like on the chest or in the back area, so back knee is a very common issue or concern for a lot of people. When you're in the shower, you can also bring this down to like areas in your body where there's, you know, blemishes, whether that's on your back or other parts of your body. Massage that in and leave it on for a couple of minutes and then you can rinse it off along with, you know, rinsing off your face as well. You can also find other body products that have salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, those are two great ingredients that can really help target back knee or blemishes on the body. I have combination oily skin, acne prone, so I get very oily, especially in my T-zone. I'll really focus my time massaging this product in those areas. You wanna make sure that you know when you're using this product, you can leave it on for an extra couple of minutes. It's really gonna help with the salicylic acid, really having that contact time to really get into the pores and to really clean it out. This is a very gentle exfoliating cleanser for those who have, you know, concerns of you know blemishes or blackheads or you know who have a lot of oil production. 
reduction, and it's good for those who have normal to combo and oily skin type. One reason why I personally like to use exfoliating cleansers compared to exfoliating leave-on serums is they're gonna be a lot more gentle, and you know you're gonna rinse it off after a few minutes. So you know with that contact time, it's not gonna be just sitting on your skin. And for me, when it comes to using really strong exfoliating acids, it really irritates my skin. So for me, I don't like to use really strong exfoliating acids, and using one in a very gentle cleanser form does a really great job of getting the benefits I need to help address the specific concerns I would like this product to address. So if you've used an exfoliating cleanser before or even this specific product, let me know your thoughts and experiences down below. And thanks so much for watching this video. Feel free to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.